track, what's the biggest thing like you've, I guess, taken away? Um, I think now I kind of, you know, although I'm still entering food and stuff, I feel like I have a really good idea, knowledge about around, I feel like I'll be able to do it without necessarily entering it, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Because I, I eat pretty, you know, I don't know that I eat the same meals every week, but I, I have a pretty similar food intake type thing. So I feel like I know that. I've, yeah, yeah, I feel like I know the amount of food that I can be eating. Yeah, that I'm, I should not, be eating. I'm not a fan of tracking long term, but I'm definitely a fan of tracking, even if it's for one week or two weeks or keeping a food diary, just to bring yeah. awareness to what you're eating and what's actually in that food. And when yeah. you do look into it, like there are going to be some surprises. I had a client yeah, the other day who really enjoyed banana bread. I'm like, you need to <laughs> you don't look what's in banana bread. She thought banana bread healthy and it's like literally one of those yeah. calorie dense things on earth. So just, I guess having awareness to your food will allow you to make better choices moving forward. And then yeah. you're at the point now when you can, well, there's always a word for everything, but they call it intuitive eating. Where like yeah. you just have such a good awareness of what's in the food and the foods you eat on a daily basis you don't necessarily need to track anymore and that's yeah. just like that's the best place to be in because you can go out 